What is up these fitness enthusiasts? Today we're gonna to be going over why most healthy considered store-bought electrolytes are actually terrible for you and what is the healthiest and best electrolyte formula you can make right at home. I know I said I'd be talking about what is considered healthy electrolytes but I think it'll be a good gateway to start the video to talk about something like Gatorade or Prime. So what electrolytes are is basically a mix of sodium, potassium, magnesium and a little bit of calcium. So these things, you sweat them out. So to hydrate, you need to replenish your body with these minerals. So per roughly 1,000 milligrams of sodium, the best ratio, what we sweat out, is about 1,000 milligrams of sodium. You should be getting around 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium. You need to get a little bit of calcium, but it's so small that if you're just getting you know, calcium from whole food sources, if you're having a healthy diet, you don't have to worry too much about it. If you're working out, you're sweating, you're an athlete. So these, the ratios of these formulas like Gatorade and Prime, they're made to taste good. So like I said, you need majority sodium as that is what you mainly sweat at. That's why your sweat is salty. And these companies, they have mainly potassium to make their, you know, drinks not have a salty taste, make them as taste, you know, as tasty as possible. So they do that at the expense of your health by putting in sweeteners, food dyes, processed sugars, which we know are not good for us. People like to argue about artificial sweeteners being okay. We'll get onto that in a little bit, showing why that is not true and why artificial sweeteners like Stevia and Splendia are not good for you. So most people know that, you know, Gatorade and Prime is not exactly good for them. So they go to something such as Liquid IV or LMNT, which are, they have better formulas. They are mainly salt-based, sodium-based, which is the most quantity of electrolytes you need, sodium. But they still have some other ingredients that are questionable. So we'll get into that in a little bit. I just wanted to brush on liquid IV first. So liquid IV, it's a good formula, but it's missing out magnesium, which is, you know, huge. And it, even if you can argue that you don't need magnesium as much as sodium or potassium, you still need it. And liquid IV not having mag any magnesium in it is just not a good look. Not to mention that liquid IV, it's full of processed cane sugar, processed refined cane sugar. I think it's something like 11 grams of cane sugar, which is just absurd for an electrolyte formula. If you're an athlete, you're working out maybe even multiple times a day, you're drinking liquid IV nonstop, it's gonna you know, add on all that processed sugar, which you know, you don't want none of that. You wanna be living a healthy lifestyle. So LMNT, they say, they don't say directly, but you know, a lot of companies, this applies to everything. So here's a life lesson from these fitness for you guys. The company, it markets LMNT, it says it's no sugar, no sugar added. So they, they market this as like a good thing. They have no sugar, but they still have to make it taste good, make it profitable, you know, get people to drink it for a reason because they have a good formula. Well, let's talk about that first. So they do have a good formula. They do have magnesium in there. They have potassium, sodium. It's probably the best one you can probably get at the store, you know, not having to buy anything online or, you know, what I'm going to be showing you on later in the video. So they do have a good formula, but they use uh, artificial sweeteners such as stevia. People say it's not an artificial sweetener. It doesn't matter if it is or not because we're going to be talking about the negative effects of stevia in a second. So stevia leaf, they use this instead of sugar to be able to market it as no sugar added while making it taste sweet, making it taste good. And we know Stevie Leaf is not good for us. People like to argue like these bodybuilder guys, these sweetie treaty bodybuilders I always like to talk about. They say that Stevie Leaf, you know, Splendia, which is, you know, sucralose, they say it's no calorie, it fills you up, but it's been shown in multiple studies. I'll link these in the description if you are curious, because I always get comments where my articles or my, you know, meta-analyses, I will link it in the description. It is a hormone disruptor. It is a known endocrine disruptor and it also, Stevie Leaf also really messes with your gut because it prevents something called uh, quorum sensing. Sorry, I almost forgot it. It prevents something called quorum sensing, which is basically how our gut microbiome communicates to each other. And I'm not gonna get into the biomechanics of it. Basically, it's not like they're talking, you know, they release a chemical and Stevie Leaf, it prevents that from happening. And that's essential for good gut health. And you just, you wanna have quorum sensing in your gut for optimal gut health. So if you're looking for optimal health, you, should not be using Stevie Leaf in general. This applies to all companies, you know, like I just said, life lesson. If any company is talking about no sugar added, no, none of this, it's always gonna be replaced with something such as 
stevia, such as sucralose, which is splendia. So always look at the ingredients, make sure, look out for you know, these artificial sweeteners. And this even applies to, I know a lot of you guys like Santa Cruz Medicinals, he uses stevia leaf in his electrolytes, which is, you know, it's, it's a really good uh, formula. It's a really good, like such as LMNT, but just if they had a flavorless option that it was just citric acid, you know, magnesium glyphosate and sodium, it would be perfect. But all these companies, they have to ruin it by adding artificial sweeteners, sugars for taste. So now I'm going to be getting into how to make the best, healthiest, no, no BS in here, electrolytes. So now guys, let's get into the best and healthiest formula on the planet. So to start, we got some organic coconut water. Before I talk about why this is so good, make sure you really get coconut water because there is a brand, I think it's called Vita Coco or something. They add processed sugar and other ingredients into the coconut water. So if you look at the ingredient label, the only thing it should be is coconut water. Organic coconut water is always better, but um, if you don't get organic, it's fine when it comes to coconut water because coconut as a shell so of course it's better to get organic but as a shell so it's not going to absorb as much as the pesticides as something like a strawberry wood where it doesn't have a shell to protect itself so like a strawberry is going to be absorbing those pesticides then you're going to eat it so don't feel pressured i know organic is can be a little bit expensive sometimes so an actual coconut would be better because stuff like this it's probably lined with plastic containers like these which you know, BPA containing plastics, it decreases your testosterone, it's an endocrine disruptor. So if you can get a real coconut, that's even better. You can even do more stuff with the coconut, like, you know, make some homemade stuff with coconut, like coconut oil, whatever. So this coconut water is going to be a great source of potassium and magnesium. We'll get into the sodium in a little bit, but let's pour some into the glass. All right. Oh, it's looking delicious. There we go. Oh, I'll pour the whole thing. I already drank some. From here. All right, let's close this. Now, we got our potassium and magnesium. Now, we need the sodium. So I'm going to add some pink Himalayan sea salt. It doesn't have to be pink Himalayan sea salt. It can be any salt you want. It's better if you can get a low microplastic sea salt. If you are going to be using sea salt because the oceans, you know, they're full of, like, pollution and stuff. So we'll put a little bit of... I like to put a lot of salt, actually. People will say, like, put a little pinch. If you guys like salt, put some salt in. And here you go. You can stop right there if you want, because you got, you know, magnesium, potassium, you got your sodium in there. But I like to add a little bit of citrus. can be a lime, lemon for flavor. But this is also going to add a, some citric acid, which is a good source of potassium. So good for taste. Oh, man, I'm splashing this everywhere. Good for taste. Good for the balls, like I always say. This is a great shake for the boss to hydrate. So no bullshit electrolyte here. We got potassium, magnesium, sodium, some flavor. And guys, this is very versatile. You can add whatever you want. You can add some honey, go crazy with it. Don't feel judged. Have some healthy stuff in there. You know, mix it with orange juice, whatever. While we're on the topic of coconut water and this electrolyte, I'm gonna make a video on hopefully fruit juices and why fruit juices, real fruit juices are amazing for you. So. Have a sip of this deliciousness. Cheers up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. I'm already feeling hydrated. So if you guys like that video, want to see the fruit juice video, it will, be, it will mean the world to me if you guys subscribe. And I appreciate you guys for watching if you made it this far. See you guys in the next one.